Hello, it's Jennifer Harding Marlin, an attorney that works at the law firm J.H. Marlin Law, a law firm that specializes in citizenship by investment. Today's video is video number three in a series of 10 that talks about why we recommended a particular citizenship by investment program to a client. Obviously, we can help with the processing of all the citizenship by investment programs, so whichever program you'd like to do, we are happy to help with the paperwork and the processing for it. Um, but here is going to be a particular case study. So this, uh, this client was a single applicant from India and they were really big into cryptocurrency, so much so that they didn't have a bank account um, and they, um, or they barely had any funds in their bank account. They were 100% into cryptocurrency. And so normally for single applicants, the most affordable programs are Dominica and St. Lucia. However, oftentimes with Dominica and St. Lucia, you have to state your overall net worth as well as provide proof of funds and or breakdown of wealth. And sometimes the banks cannot accept funds when the funds are from cryptocurrency. So in this instance, we ended up recommending St. Kitts and Nevis to the client. They were also high net worth. So the difference of 50,000 uh, between doing St. Kitts versus Dominica or St. Lucia was not the most important for them. Um, the most important for them was like ensuring that they are approved and having the highest level of visa-free travel as possible and also being citizen of a tax-free country. And so in St. Kitts and Nevis, you can provide proof of funds by providing crypto statements. They cannot be like exported Excel spreadsheets, but they do need to have, um, be like on a centralized exchange like Coinbase or BlockFi in their name, showing that they have the funds. And for St. Kitts and Nevis, you do not need to provide a detailed breakdown of your net worth. You can simply check off a box. So um, we helped the client uh, with the St. Kitts and Nevis program. Uh, they did the regular procedure and then relocated. They also wanted to relocate outside of India because India has restrictions on cryptocurrency, although in recent months, this has started to change and they relocated. Uh, this is another client who ended up relocating to Dubai and becoming a resident of Dubai and using their St. Kitts and Nevis passport for travel pur purposes um, as a form of national ID for opening bank accounts and for further business dealings. So this was um, video number three. So look out for video number four, which is gonna talk about another situation and why we kind of recommended a client one particular citizenship over another. Okay, all the best for now. Bye.